after a routine approach to the stifle, the osteotomy locations are marked with a scalpel blade. These osteotomies must be axial to the peaks of the ridges, but the block must be wide enough to accommodate the width of the patella. The most distal and proximal extents of the block recession are also made. Then using a thin manual saw, the osteotomies are created. It is important to follow those lines and this means ever so slightly converging those cuts. The deep aspect of the block is cut with an osteotome. It is important to watch the trajectory of the osteotome so as to not go too deep and also not too shallow and fracture the osteochondral block. The block is completely released by sharp excision proximally and an osteotome is again used to remove approximately two to three millimeters of bone in a dog of this size. It's not uncommon for this trabecular bone to be fragmented and removed piecemeal as you can see here. It is important to make sure that the groove is deepened well proximally as this is where the patella tends to first spontaneously luxate. If the osteochondral block is particularly thick then removal of bone from the osteochondral block can help provide additional recession. The block is then press fit back into the trochlea and the Block recession is assessed to ensure that adequate depth has been achieved.